Hi guys, I'm getting a lot of questions about what's special about PDN cable <clears throat> and why do I use those instead of regular cables. And so I kind of wanted to show this really quick video as a uh, demo example. So I just set up my oscilloscope here and I have two millivolts per division at eight gigahertz, 50 ohm termination you know, on the lower trace. That's my time domain signal. And I put a spectrum view trace in the top signal centered around 2.41 gigahertz, which is the Wi-Fi that's in my house. And in fact, there's a, uh, a Wi-Fi uh, accessory point or one of the nodes actually about, oh, maybe eight feet behind my head. And so I'm going to put on a maximum hold trace just so we can kind of capture what it is that uh, the scope sees from the bursts coming from my Wi-Fi node. And so you can see every once in a while, maybe there's just a, a little bit of a blip. And it's actually not even really big enough for a marker. Uh, but that's actually about minus 96 dB M or so, which is pretty good. Um, that's the shielding of the scope. And like I said, the, the Wi-Fi mesh node is right behind my head. I'm going to go ahead and plug in a one meter PDN cable. It's an unterminated cable. So just... Uh, BNC connector on one end and nothing at the other end and it's one meter long. And now I can just barely uh, hit the threshold of the marker at minus 85 dBm. So I lost maybe about 5 dBm of the noise floor <clears throat> because of the unterminated cable. And I would use a more standard cable like let's say an RG174. Let's go ahead and put that there. <clears throat> And we'll let that run for just a bit. But now we're down at, oh, minus 73 dB. So we've lost about 17 dB of the noise floor uh, with the RG174 cable. And so there really is a significant difference. And what if I were to buy one of those really low cost, one meter, you know, ultra thin, flexible ENC cables. Let's try that. And now you can see the Wi-Fi really well. So that's a, a pretty good measure of the shielding. And you can see now we're at, oh, minus 43 dBm or so. So we've lost about 50 dB of the signal uh, because of just the cable. So I think this is kind of one of the, the easiest demonstrations of what's really special about the shielding in our cable.